I'm here in Riga, um, where I live now a lot of the time, talking to VT Padmanabhan, who is an Indian geneticist who has worked with me uh, on the health effects of radiation for many years now, and he visited me in Aberystwyth long ago, and we've, we've collaborated on, on um, generally trying to tease out these the health effects of radiation. Uh, uh, in fact, he was he was working on this before I was. He worked he worked long ago with Rosalie Bertel. Um, he's come all the way here to Riga from India, and so we're very happy to have him. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Hiroshima study and a few other things. Um, well, first of all, perhaps you could just briefly tell me a little bit about your background, VT. Um, I understood you worked with with Rosalie Bertel for a while. Yeah. Even today, uh, after 60 years of bombing and nuclear technology, the nuclear establishment does not accept that the radiation which people are exposed to, the workers and the downwinders, can cause any genetic disorders. So you look at the uh, official reports of US National Academy of Sciences, you'll find that radiation-induced genetic disorders in humans have not been seen so far. It's ridiculous, you see. There are several people who claim that the children have been harm, harmed. There are certain people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki who say that the children suffer from genetic disorders. So in 1957, the World Health Organization uh, deliberated on this issue and in, that, in a meeting they decided that this is a small beautiful place in Kerala, in the coastal region, where there is a huge deposit of monocyte, which is a thorium-bearing compound. So they said the people living there are exposed to an average of 600 millirad or 6 millisievert of radiation a year. And the, which is the, can, can about a tenth of the dose of the occupational, occupational dose of radiation workers. The logic of WHO experts was that if, to see if the, at this dose level, that is 5, 6 millisievert a year, that is 33, 180 millisievert throughout the reproductive span of the life. Does it cause any genetic effect in the children? So the Indian uh, Atomic Energy Department was supposed to have undertaken this study which they did not. They set up a lab, but they did not do any epidemiological study or publish any paper on it. Now, we entered this area and saw that it's a place which has been untouched by other chemical pollutants or any of these things, and there, there's comparable population living in north and south of this area. So we designed a study in which 38,000 people living in these beaches with high radiation was considered as the exposed population and another 32,000 people who were living in, in northern villages of this area where the background radiation was quite normal were considered as the control. Dr. Rosalie Bertel and several other, Dr. Ali Stewart, uh, Carl Morgan and uh, Sadao Ichikawa, all these people were involved as advisors and we had a lot of consultants from India also. A total of about 15 medical doctors participated in the diagnosis. And we had done this study very systematically that all complex cases, diseases were shown to specialists, different specialists in respective fields. We did chromosome and genetic studies in, in, the, in the All India Institute of Medical Science Laboratory in Delhi. So it was a more or less complete study and was, uh, the finding was that the incidence of prevalence of chromosomal disorders, Down syndrome, is three and a half times higher among the exposed population. And there was also a statistically significant increase in single gene disorders. Like we found about 18 single gene, different single gene disorders whose, whose occurrence is considered to be very rare in literature. In, normally, if you look at the radiation genetics literature, you, what you find is you find experts looking for one disease, like Marfan syndrome. Here we have a so whole lot of diseases which have been re uh, reported, including uh, sex chromosomes, uh, the sex recessive disorders. 
And these were associated with, with actual measurable chromosome damage. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so what happened to the study then? I mean, if it showed such profound changes in areas of high radiation, surely it would have been something that should have been on the front page of Science or Nature. Yeah, it didn't come. It, it just published in International Journal for Health Services. But someone must have sent it to a big, big journal. Presumably, they they just rejected it. Is that right? Well, mm-hmm. what, what actually happened? Nothing you know? happened. Yeah. Oh. Well, well, that's extraordinary because it's normally assumed that, that, that natural background radiation studies show no effect. And clearly we see here that there is an effect right across the board with all these genetic st- uh, effects and also with, associated with, with visible chromosome damage. Um, then you went on, uh, I, I recall, to, to work on the sex ratio uh, effects that were, in, that, that were found or not found originally, of course, in the Hiroshima uh, offspring. Perhaps you could tell us a little about that? <coughs> sex ratio was the first effect reported by geneticists from uh, atomic bomb, Kish uh, Keshwar, ABCC, in Hiroshima. Now. The Hiroshima, yeah, the Atomic Bomb Casualty Commission. Commission. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, th- there was a s- small significant uh, increase in when the mothers were exposed to radiation. And I think it was blown up and in several newspapers and, and journals published this report. It was the first coming from Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And the, 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 that, that became, this sex ratio study becomes a major focus in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So, uh, Perhaps before you go on, you could explain why, why sex ratio is important, how, how it can be affected by radiation, and what, why that suggests that there's a problem. Because I don't think people would understand that. The sex ratio is the number of boys born to the number of girls, <coughs> the number of girls born to the number of boys. Yeah. So why would radiation affect the sex ratio, briefly? See, we humans have 22 pairs of autosomes, known as chromosomes number 1 to 22, and one chromosome which is known as sex chromosome, it's X and Y. A female has 22 autosomes and one pair of